Hello everyone and welcome back to Me Comic Channel. Today we're doing another comic, not something that you're used to, but it's a Voltron comic and the couple for this one will be Clant, so I really hope you enjoy this. Um, don't forget to check out the artist, Lily Claire, in the description below for her channel and um, or her Instagram and make sure to follow, give her love, comment, all that good stuff. Okay, let's get into the comic. This is the story of how I died. Don't worry, this is actually a very funny story. And the truth is, it is even mine. Wanted, dead or alive, Blue Taylor, thief. This is the story of a boy named Keith. And it starts with the sun. Once upon a time, a single drop of sunlight fell from the heavens. And from this small drop of sun grew a magic golden flower. It is extremely sought after for centuries, as it had the ability to heal the sick and injured. It can, however, be catastrophic if it fell in the wrong hands, but these were considered just a myth until... Centuries passed. There grew a kingdom. The kingdom was ruled by a beloved king and queen. And the queen, well, she was about to have a baby, and she got sick, really sick. She was running out of time. And that's when people usually start to look for a miracle. Or in this case, a magic golden flower. We found it! The magic of the golden flower healed the queen. A healthy baby boy. A prince was born. I'll give you a hint. That's Keith. To celebrate his birth, the king and queen launched a flying lantern into the sky. For that one moment, everything was perfect. And then that moment ended. Flower gleam and grow. It's your pow- let your powers shine. At long last, I found it. A witch from the neighboring kingdom named Hagar broke into the castle and stole a child. Just like that. Gone. <coughs> the same place where the flower was found, mysterious sharp rocks appeared in the ground. Mama? Hagar took Keith there. Just a touch, my child. With the intentions of harvesting new powers using the child that she stole. <laughs> Deep within the forest, in a hidden tower, Hagar raised the child as her own. Why can't I go outside? You're too dangerous for the outside world. You can't go out unless you manage to control that power of yours. Keep on practicing our little song, then I will consider letting you out. Do you understand? Yes, mother. Well then, I'll be in my room. Wither and decay. Break these earthly chains and the destiny and set the spirit free. The spirit free. But the walls of that tower could not hide everything. Each year on his birthday, the king and queen released thousands of lanterns into the sky in hope that one day their lost prince would return. Hey, buddy, want to play? Yeah, I don't think so. You know that I can't, right? I like it in here, and so do you. Oh, come on, Cosmo. It's not so bad in here. Oh, I know. I'm just gonna draw you. Don't look at me like that. Come on, give me a new pose. Perfect. Stops. Tomorrow night, the lights will appear, just like they do on my birthday each year. What is it like out there? Where they grow. Now that I'm older, mother might just let me go. <sighs> I think we lost them. Are you sure? <sighs> no, 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 no. This is bad. This is very, very bad. This is really bad. They just can't get my nose right. <laughs> hey! Easy for you two to laugh. You guys look amazing. They even made Pidge appear taller than she is. I'd say it's accurate, though. 
Yeah, it's perfect. Gimme that. Moving on. So, what are you guys' hulls? I got the crown. A knife. I got some sweets. Jeez, did we sneak into the castle just for you two to go to the kitchen? I actually went to the king and queen's room. It's shiny, so I took it. I ended up in the kitchen, so might as well take something. Hey, careful with that knife. That crown looks awesome. Very shiny. Huh? Aww. <laughs> My little princess is all grown up. Pidge? Princess? Piss off! <laughs> Ouch. This way. Run! Run! Retrieve the crown and the queen's knife at all cost. Should we split up? Agreed. You two go that way. Let's meet at the snugs. Matt! <laughs> this is it. This is a very big day, Cosmo. I'm finally gonna do it. I'm gonna ask her. Keith, let down your hair. It's time. Come on, don't let her see you. You know I don't like waiting. Coming, mother. <sighs> mm. Welcome home, mother. Ugh, Keith. How you manage to do that every single time without fail? Oh, it's nothing. Then I don't know why it takes so long. Um, uh, oh, I'm just teasing. Stop taking everything so seriously. <laughs> Alright, so tomorrow. How was your power, dear? Oh, yeah, about that. You promised quite a long time ago that I'll be able to go out once I've controlled it and... It's perfect because tomorrow's my birthday and... And... Maybe I can... You can take me to see the floating lights? You mean the stars? That's the thing. I've charted stars and they're always constant. But these... They appear every year on my birthday. Only on my birthday, mother. I've always wanted to paint them. Not just from the window, but up close. Please, mother. I need to know what they are. You want to go outside? Why, Keith? Look at you. A boy with 70 feet long destructive hair. Who knows what tragedy you can cause to the outside world? But I've managed to control it a long time ago. Tr trust me, Mother knows best. Do you have any idea what other people would do if they find out about your hair? They will hurt, torture, and kill you. Or even lock you deep down in the dungeon with no sunlight at all if you're lucky. I'm the only one in this world that is not going to be afraid of you, dear. I'm keeping you here to keep you and the world safe. All I have is one request. Don't ever ask to leave this tower again. Yes, mother. See you in a bit, dear. I'll be here. I've got my mother's love. I shouldn't ask for more. I've got so many things I should be thankful for. Yes, I have everything, except, I guess, a door. Perhaps it's better that I stay in. But tell me, when will my life begin? Ugh. Don't let him get away. Let's go that way. Ouch. Ugh. Hello? Is anyone here? No one? I'll just stay here for a little bit. Greeks? Is that... hair? Cosmo? Mother? Is that you? What was that? What are they doing here? Are they here to... What am I gonna do? Cosmo, hurry and come inside. Is anyone here? No one? I'll just stay here for a little bit. Yash. Yeah. Hmm? Huh? I got a person in my closet. I got a person in my closet. I got a person in my closet. Mother would be... Huh? Okay, okay, sorry. Hmm? What is this glowing thing? Uh... What the hell? Keith, let down your hair. Oh. Mm. One moment, mother. 
I have a big surprise. I do too. I bet my surprise is bigger. I seriously doubt it. I ain't got ingredients in town. I'm making curry for dinner, your favorite surprise. Well, mother, there's something I want to tell you. Oh, Keith, you know I hate leaving you after f a fight, especially when I've done absolutely nothing wrong. Okay, I've been thinking a lot about what you said earlier. I hope you're not still talking about the stars. Floating lights. Because I really thought we dropped the issue. Mother, I'm just saying... Keith, we're done talking about this. But if you just... Keith, trust me. Keith, I know... Keith! Oh, come on. Enough of the lights, Keith. You are not leaving this tower. Ugh. Great, now I'm the bad guy. All I want to say, Mother, is... I know what I want for my birthday now. New paint. The paint made from the white shells you once brought me. Well, that is a very long trip, Keith. Almost three days' time. I just thought it was a better idea than stars. You're sure you'll be alright on your own? I know I'm safe as long as I'm here. I'll be back in three days' time. <sighs> hmm. Cosmo? You're right. I won't give up. Let's do this. I'm asking you where the knife in the crown is. Huh? Am I dead, or am I just imagining you're this close to me, Captain? You're even more beautiful up close. Leave this guy to me. Adam! Cat! Pidge! Where is my sister? Sister? I'm right here, Ding Dong. Pidge, are you okay? Did they hurt you? Lie down, you idiot. Sister, huh? I'm sorry we've got it wrong all this time. Not that that's my main concern right now, but okay. If these two doesn't have it, Taylor probably does. Where is he? Not telling. You, Lil. Look, we can give you a lighter sentence if you cooperate. Your charms won't work on me. Charms? And what about my sister? She'll be fine. We can't send it to kid. But the posters say dead or alive. Yeah, those were just meant to scare the thieves. Oh. But I still won't sell my friend out. Hmm. I see. I guess that can't be helped. Takashi- Captain! We just need you to come with us for now. Hey everyone, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> also, thank you so much for watching it to the end and always liking these comics, even though they're different from my hero sometimes, so I appreciate that. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, as always, to me comic channel. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye!